So, you just learned how to animate in Blender. Now, you need a GIF format with no background. That's very specific, but that's what I need, and I've been struggling with it. Um, so there's many ways of doing this. No, there's not. I tr so I originally tried using uh, uh, DaVinci Resolve to remove the background and just adding a green screen or color to the background to separate my figure. And that didn't work because DaVinci Resolve does support GIF, but there is an issue with uh, where the video will just duplicate like parts of the video that shouldn't exist. And so I found this to be the best way to get it working and still look good and high uh, res because I found there's like some online stuff uh, that will remove a background, but then you lose quality of the image. And I don't want to, I don't want to have that because in case I want to use this for a video, I want to make sure it's high quality. And I need it as a GIF because this character is going to be used for a game and we need a repeating video. So it's a very specific, but that's what I needed. And I've been struggling to get this working without it just messing up. But I found this to be the best way. Uh, so how we're going to do this is we're going to take this guy right here and we're going to we're going to turn him into a bunch of PNGs. And then we're going to take him into uh, a free program called Krita and we're going to turn on Krita's animation mode. And we are going to uh, we're going to make him into a GIF because Krita does support GIFs um, and video formats and animation. So we see this guy right here. We can see his little walk. <laughs> It's kinda, he's kind of freaky. So we take this little animation that we made and we're gonna go over to uh, to our output menu. We're gonna select the folder that we want to output to. Then we're gonna change whatever your file format over here is to uh, PNG. The reason why we're doing this is because we need, we need uh, no background. And the only thing that really supports no background is PNG. How we know it supports it is because when we go to uh, FFmpeg, we're going to see uh, BW for black and white and RGB for red, green, blue. But when we go to PNG, we get another option called uh, RGBA. A stands for alpha, and alpha is what's going to uh, get rid of the background. Now, we have this here, but in case you don't, in case you do have a background, uh, let's go to the world view. This is how you can turn on the, oh, I guess we'll just go here. If you need to turn on a background or change the color, you come here, but we're going to go to render to mess to show you where the uh, transparency thing is. So I have it on already, but if you need to, you go to render on the side uh, panel, scroll down until you find the film and under film, you'll see transparent right now. I have a blue background and if I hit it, it's gone. So this is pretty much ready to go. We're going to go take it to uh, render rendering and we're going to go hit render and render animation. It's going to take a minute. So we can just sit and chill. Mm. Look at him go. Look at those fingers go. This was fun to do. I had no clue how to rig a figure, so this was a big step. But it, it works. It's good. I think it's finished. It's only like 34 frames. The more frames you have, the longer it's going to take. I'm going to pause and open up Krita. So get Krita open. Now, you might make the same mistake as I. Make sure before you render out, you hit RGBA underneath the uh, output. I made the mistake and all my stuff was, uh, was uh, black. The background was black and that, that can be an issue. So if you ever had, if that ever happens to you, come back, re-render it and hit RGBA. Then we're going to try again. We're going to go to hit, uh, go up to render animation and we're going to let it play out again. I'm not going to make you sit and watch this. I'm going to go and see you at Krita. So open up with Krita. Now we're here in Krita. I already made a walk animation for this guy, but for you, for your sake and my sake, just so I learn, we're gonna do this again. Um, we're gonna go and hit new image to make a new image. And we're gonna make sure that the uh, resolution is the same as Blender's. Mine is 1920 by 1080. That's the same as Blender. You don't have to have it the same, but it, just to make it look good, just keep it the same. Uh, I'm just gonna hit create down here and we'll see an empty blank animation frame. Now, um, you won't have animation if you've just opened it up. So if you're wondering, how, how did you get animation in Krita? We're going to go all the way up to window in the top bar, and we're going to hit workspace. And then the first thing will be animation. Now, we're going to go. I'm going to go and open up a file and import animation frames. 
With this, we'll be able to add the images we just exported from, uh, from Blender. Now we're gonna hit Add Images. We're gonna see uh, all these photos, but that's not where they should be. They should be right here under, oh, whatever you labeled it under in Blender. You can hit Command A to select all, and you can hit Open. Now you have all the photos. Let's go hit OK to, to accept it. It's gonna load in all the frames, and boom, they're all here. It's moving like crazy. But now we have an issue. When we play the animation, it just keeps going. How do we fix that? Well, quite simple. Next to this little thing right here that uh, looks like a like a audio some audio thing, it's called Animation Audio Menu. Right next to it, we have Animation Setting Menus. We're gonna hit that, and we're just gonna change the uh, change the end frame. For me, it's 33. Should be 34, I don't know why, 33, but okay. I'll deal with that later. You can also change the frame right here. Now, we have uh, we have this uh, guy right here. He can, he's good, he can play. But we still have a white background, which we don't want, because remember, we want this to be a GIF with no background. Well, we're gonna go down to here, and we're just gonna unlock this, and we we'll delete that, and boom, no background. He's good to go. Now, we're good to go. We can now export this. But how do you do that, you ask? Well, we go up to File, and we go Render Animation. Now, you're going to first see it's going to probably look like this. Only the top one will be on, and that's for image sequence. So it's going to just export the images again. We don't want that. What we do want is we want Export as Video. We can turn this off. Now, it's going to, it's going to look like this, and you don't want it to look like this. So. Um, Everything is fine, but we're just gonna need to change the render as from whatever that is. I'm not even gonna try pronouncing that. All the way to GIF image. And we're gonna hit OK. Yeah, I'm just gonna replace it. So now it's gonna go and make a video and now it's making the GIF. Uh, and we are good to go. And there you go, from Blender to a, a, a GIF. It looks good, huh? <laughs> It's a little dude. Um, this was really hard for me to do. I spent like two days banging my head trying to figure this out, and I eventually stumbled upon this, and and it worked. Um, and it's good. It, it works. It, it's high quality. You can use it for your game, make assets. It, it's just good. Uh, okay. Well, I hope this helps. If it did, good. If not, oops. <laughs> um, I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.